John Devere Helfrich was born on April 16, 1902, in eastern Oregon at Lamota in Crook County, 12 miles west of Prineville. He was the son of John Helfrich, Jr. and Clara Minnie McCoy. In 1910, Helfrich started school at Lamota and in 1916 graduated from the eighth grade in Terrebonne. His uncle, Walt McCoy, owned a ranch near Redmond, where as a boy he punched cows and wrangled wild horses. Around 1939, Helfrich took a liking to rodeo, particularly the recording of it by photography. Jerry Ambler, bronc rider and friend, encouraged Helfrich to photograph rodeos. Devere had an auspicious beginning as a rodeo photographer when he won the World's Championship Rodeo Corporation's Best Picture of the Year in 1941 for the image of Gene Pruitt on Everett Colburn's Colonel Dean at Prairie City, Oregon. He was on his way to becoming one of the pioneer image capturing trinity or what rodeo photographer fans call the big three, Ralph Russell Doubleday, John Addison Snyder, and John Devere Helfrich. Photography had been Helfrich's hobby before the rodeo circuit. Because film was scarce during the war, Helfrich at times had only a limited number of negatives to expose, so each one had to count. His original camera in the 1940s was a speed graphic camera. A professional partnership was formed between Devere and his wife, Helen. They would travel by station wagon to rodeos where they would park alongside the trailer houses of the contestants. Thousands of miles were logged, and some years only two months of the year were spent at home, just long enough to pick up mail and wash clothes and mow the lawn. Originally, the Helfridges would set up makeshift dark rooms in motel bathrooms. Later, they acquired a trailer with a built-in dark room. From well-equipped laboratory at their home in Klamath Falls, they printed photographic postcards, filled orders, and shipped prints to customers. Helfridge had only three principles which guided him in shooting good pictures. He became a student of the individual animal style, which enabled him to anticipate movement and positioning. He understood that stock contractors wanted pictures of wildly bucking animals and that contested cowboys wanted pictures of them riding well. Helfrich explained, I like to work about 30 or 40 feet from the action. The photographer has to be in time with the horse, not just the rider. The best time to get the picture is when the cowboy's feet are forward and the horse's hooves are just off the ground. The fruit of these principles is seen in the 1956 image of Bill Ward on Sea Lion at San Angelo, which was adapted for use as the official emblem of the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. The 1962 Championship Edition of the Pro Rodeo Sports News declared Devere Helfridge the world's greatest rodeo photographer. In its 1982 championship edition, it claimed that he will forever be ranked as one of the top rodeo photographers of all time, no matter who comes along, with what degree of talent in the future. Devere and Helen were the official photographers for the PRCA until retiring in 1967. Devere was diagnosed with cancer in 1977. On September 1, 1981, he died at Merle West Medical Center in Klamath Falls, Oregon, with results of prostate cancer. He was buried at Klamath Falls Memorial Park in Klamath Falls. Helen died peacefully on July 30, 1989, at their home in Klamath Falls, Oregon.